Okay, before I do any highlighting and contrasting, I'm just taking the number one silver eyeshadow and applying it all over my eyelids. When I apply it on my eyelids, the first eyeshadow, I want to be sure I get it all over, not just on the lid, but a little towards the crease, so all four colors I'll be using are visible. And I'm going to be doing the same, applying this eyeshadow in a windshield wiper motion and blending it out towards the crease. Then taking a small fluffy brush, I'm just blending out the edges. Then I'm taking my number two shimmering black eyeshadow and applying that directly on the crease. I'm going to be doing a lot of editing and touching up because I'm not professional, but I want to make sure this looks clean. And then I'm blending it out again with the silver and dragging it out towards the brow bone. Then I'll be using my blackest eyeshadow and applying that on the lash line starting at the outer eye corners. I'm sort of using this one as like an eyeliner, but not completely. I'll only be blending it out towards the halfway point of my eyes. Then I'm going over the lash line with it. And then touching up the inner eye corners. Don't forget to blend, 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 blend. If the colors you use don't stand out that much, especially your light one, you can always go back with the silver and apply that with your fingers. Then I'm going to line my waterline with the eyeliner provided in the box. And I'm careful doing this so I can get it all around and also not smudge. I used to be terrible at eyeliner. Whenever I'd line my waterline, it would just slip right into the lash line, and I would just look like a raccoon from a Tim Burton movie. I'm touching up my inner eye corners, just dragging out the eyeliner towards the inner eye corners. and I'm lining my lash line close to the lashes as possible but try not to make a cat eye at the end. I almost forgot one step. Apply the white eyeshadow on the brow bone. This was the most important part because it really sets off the highlight on the eyes. And I'm just blending out my work I did before with the dark colors so the white doesn't overlap. And don't forget to curl those lashes. You really want your eyes to open up and stand out for this look. Now you can use your favorite mascara and apply generous amounts on both sets of eyelashes. I'm using short light strokes and kind of making sure to drag it outwards so my lashes don't clump.
For my lower lashes, I'm just using less mascara. I want this look to be smoky and divine all around the eyes. So I also want my lashes to stand out too. And the eye makeup is complete. Now I'm taking my pink shimmering blush and smile when I apply it and put it on right there towards the upper region of the cheekbones to set off the highlight. The light pink blush really sets off the highlight and makes this look divine. It also brings out your facial features too. This look is all about the eyes, but you don't want to look like a raccoon putting this on, so I'm just using a light color to bring out my facial features and I'm blending it with my hand. And to finish off the look, I'm taking this pink lip color and putting it on my lips. I was very careful doing this because this is a liquid lip color and I wanted to put it on evenly making sure there was no streak marks or cakey layers. One would think I'd use the darkest lipstick I could find because I'm into the gothic dark dramatic looks but I had learned from others that it's just wrong when it comes to regular beauty makeup. You want to use a different lip color than your eyes so you can have contrast and the look is natural rather than to look like a 16th century walking corpse. Voila, the look is complete. I like making puckering faces when it comes to this. Mwah. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you liked this video and I'm in the mood. I can take more requests. I take requests now.